It's hump day. What's up, Jimbo? Why are you giving that look? The kind of a crazy dog look. What's up, Stella? It's still gray and gloomy, but the temperatures are a little more moderate. Might be a nice day. It's it's comfortable enough. I'll let the doggies out. Here we are turning on a branch of the Jefferson Highway. And um, Jefferson Highway is having its annual celebration in St. Joseph, Missouri this year at the end of a, uh, April. I, uh, if I can, I'll make it. I'll try and go. One of the things I'd like to know, I haven't pinpointed it, I, you know, if I do the research, I'll probably figure it out, but where was the original headquarters? Because there was a, St. Joseph, Missouri was the headquarters city for the Jefferson Highway. And uh, it was also the, Jeff, uh, the headquarters city for Pikes Peak Highway, which was in the same building. And uh, both highways intersected at St. Joseph. Pikes Peak is a Pikes Peak Coast to Coast Highway, and uh, Jefferson Highway was a North and South International Highway running from Winnipeg, Canada to New Orleans, Louisiana, or Pines to Palms. And uh, it goes through Kansas City. Southwest Boulevard is part of it. And uh, it also, um, it splits north and south of Kansas City. Like, if you're on Grand downtown and um, North Kansas City up to uh, um, north of Smithville, that's all, it was all one, one trunk, no branches, but it splits Missouri side and Kansas side south at about Grand and Admiral, and it also uh, it splits north of, Saint, of uh, Smithville. Um, with a branch heading towards St. Joseph, another branch heading more straight north and east. And I do believe uh, this is the west side of Kansas City. It's uh, an area where um, a lot of a lot of people from Mexico and the south of the border have settled in this area. But we're coming into the Kansas City crossroads. And I believe this area is named after the two uh, major highways that cross through here. This one, the Jefferson Highway, and then uh, another one called the National Old Trails Road, which actually is a east-west road, but here it intersects north-south, right at this intersection, or at the Kansas City Crossroads. And... Um, Jefferson Highway, which is a north-south road, actually intersects here northeast, southwest, you know, southwest boulevard. So it's kind of some irony that the roads kind of are, are, are skewed in this area, not heading their general course as they intersect here. And um, to anybody that could be listening, I would like to say that you should go to that um, that uh, Jefferson Highway meeting. It's like a Saturday and Sunday. I believe maybe Friday night too. It's the whole weekend, and uh, and learn a lot about it, and get some information, and meet some people. And um, I'm especially thinking that one or two people from Kansas City, city officials, historians, should go and get some information because I think it would be a major um, major benefit to this city to uh, figure out how to mark the roads and, and you know figure out what kind of history existed through here. I know one thing that's very interesting, it passes right in front of the 18th and Vine Jazz District 
and all this a lot of the cities that are on the Jefferson Highway New Orleans Kansas City um, Winnipeg Minneapolis st. Paul are big music cities big jazz cities and um, you know in many ways I think that the Jefferson Highway could be considered to be a jazz highway I don't necessarily I don't know if there's really any proof of it but I don't necessarily think it's coincidental I think it, it could be that people used a lot of those old highways to get to some of these cities and so it's like the music traveled up and the influence and the culture traveled up these highways and moved into these cities but now I'm gonna go have some coffee coffee mm -hmm. 